Hey guys, Nature from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles. Uh, much the same way as like browsing through your sample collection can be a bit of a time waster. Um, fumbling through your plugins, especially when you've got a bit of a, a large collection of plugins, can also be a bit of a pain. Um, so Cubase has fortunately got a really handy plugin management system that you can create custom banks and collections of plugins. And this is a real help when you're looking for stuff that you use quite often, but also um, quite, a, quite helpful when it comes to you possibly overlooking something that you don't normally use but might be a really good idea for what you're doing. Um, let's jump into Cubase. We're gonna set up a little custom folder to use in our projects. Let's check this out. Right, so first things first, let's open up our plugin manager. You'll access that from the studio section and plugin manager. And let's just take a look around here uh, at the functionality of this. So you have what's called collections. Um, you can access all your collections here. I'm in the process of redoing everything because um, it's a fresh install. Um, but uh, I generally have a few extra um, setups, uh, collections set up there. So currently I have by type and by vendor. Uh, you can select by type and you'll see I have everything neatly organized into different kinds of plugins. Um, so for example, uh, in this collection, I can just go and click on dynamics. I want a compressor, let's say I want an analog compressor. And I have all my sort of analog style compressors available in one group there. So it's very easy for me to find um, Perhaps sometimes I have, uh, you know, compressors that I go to over and over and over again. It's nice to be able to see them all in one section like this because there's stuff that I forget about sometimes and uh, it's nice to be able to see all of those together and maybe use something that I don't normally use all that much. Um, the other one I do is vendors. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then lastly, I often set up uh, collections for specific tasks as well. So we're going to do that now just to kind of walk you through um, how you do the... Uh, these collections. Um, display options, are, we usually have this set to uh, hide plugins that are in active collection. You'll see if I click that, a lot of them will disappear. These all VST versions, which are VST2 versions, which I've disabled um, since I have VST3 versions of all of these running in the collections. So what we're going to do is let's add a new collection. We're going to make an empty collection. We're going to call this mastering for example and now we can start dragging in plugins uh, that we would normally use for mastering so for one we'll grab UB22HR let's grab uh, we'll just search master there's a couple of plugin lines uh, the Elysia plugins uh, we'll grab that dangerous back CQ uh, master desk as well uh, let's grab V3. So it's my first port of call for mastering. Uh, some more compressors like SPL Iron, for example. Uh, HG2. You get the picture. I'm not going to go through everything here. Um, we've got a number of uh, plugins that we might use in a mastering session. Um, we can organize this a little bit further by creating some folders now. Let's say saturation. Uh, we'll go tools and we'll go dynamics and we can just drag in uh, our alpha master for example as a compressor all the compressors can go into dynamics saturation we can put in there let's make one more for EQ um, EQ can go in there I really wish they would add a organize alphabetically because you kind of have to do that manually right now um, but yeah it's a bit of a pain but uh, it is what it is we'll work that into tools um, maybe master desk we'll put that in there as well and character goes into saturation cool um, so there we've got our, our mastering um, collection all set up we can close this and now when we've got an audio track uh, or an instrument track Oh, and uh, by the way, your instruments are also uh, included as well. Um, you can just switch between them. Um, and they also have their own collections as well. 
I split those into analog synths, digital synths, rumplers, uh, samplers, etc, etc, drum machines. So that's all neatly organized as well. Um, now we can just go in here. When we're selecting a plugin, if you check this little plugin collection and options on the side, if you select our newly created mastering collection, you will only have access to those plugins which you have decided to go into this um, collection which really makes it nice and streamlined. You're not uh, searching through hundreds of plugins to find what you're looking for. Also, I, I demo a lot of stuff. Uh, so I have a lot of demos sitting around. I don't want to be fiddling with uh, demo software when I'm in the m middle of a production. So, um, you know, I keep that stuff separate and uh, my collections that uh, plugins that I'm actually using all neatly organized so that they can quickly be accessed. So that's plugin management for you in Cubase. Uh, I will catch you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.